Another frequent problem with your myeloma involves the kidney. Your kidneys may be negatively impacted directly by the myeloma cells, by the antibody produced by the cells or breakdown products called amyloid. Also, very commonly, patients may have high calcium from the release of calcium out of that bone. All of these may lead to kidney disease, but also there may be drugs you're receiving for the myeloma, drugs like the bisphosphonates, antibiotics, or other treatments for the myeloma. Frequently, myeloma patients may have other diseases that cause kidney problems, like diabetes or hypertension. So it's important to make sure those are in control so we're not negatively impacting your kidney even more than simply from the myeloma itself. Now, to reduce the impact of kidney disease, it's important that you see a kidney specialist if you have very abnormal kidney function. They help a lot with management of your fluids, your phosphate levels, other minerals that may be impacted by kidney function. We don't want you to end up on dialysis. Another important point is to keep yourself well hydrated. Lots of fluid is a key, and minimizing dehydration will reduce your risk of ever having a kidney problem. So overall, kidney disease is commonplace. Reducing its risk involves effective treatment of the myeloma, making sure you're receiving proper doses of drugs if your kidney function is not normal, because in fact you may have to reduce the doses of many drugs, and also making sure the drugs you're receiving are not ones that put you at additional risk for kidney problems.